Wow. That was unexpected. Hey gang, I'm Rising MC, and, uh, welcome, yeah, welcome to another Rising MC. Uh, this has been unexpected. Uh, so, yeah, sorry I haven't been here the past couple of, um, weeks. There have been some moving changes, we're not moving across country anymore, and I've been missing out on Grimm for the past couple, for the past couple of weeks, and so I caught up, and, yeah, some things have been going down, like Adeline's pregnant with Nick's kid, Men Menard, sorry, Renard is going slowly nuts, and slowly dying, I think, there's a new royal in town, Juliet, Juliet, mm. Juliet's turning in, tur Juliet turned into a hex and beast, she told Nick, and she's going nuts. I mean, she's slowly losing herself to the dark side, and I hate it when characters do this, when they turn to the dark side. I mean, I mean, sometimes I like it, it's kind of cool and sexy, but sometimes I just can't handle it, and Juliet is pissing me off. Really, she is. I mean, at first, she was, it was a little weird, and, you know, stuff like that, but this is just pissing me off. I mean, so... I'm not gonna, I mean, this is about, like, a, you know, this episode's a, I'm not even gonna get into, like, the sub, the other story about the blue bot and whatever. I'm not even gonna talk about that. So, Adeline just went to the police office and told Nick about what's going on, and she might have a way to fix Juliet. Juliet somehow gets out of prison, she got a bail, and she goes over and she's like, so it's true. You know what, I'm gonna cut that little witch's throat. And it's like, it looks like it's gonna go down. It looks like there's gonna be a cat fight, but there's no cat fight, which is kind of disappointing, but I don't care. But then, Juliet does the worst thing that could possibly happen. Ah! She. Just calm down. Sorry. I'm just gonna calm down. Sorry, I had to type something down. She goes to Aunt Marie, Julia goes to Aunt Marie's trailer and burns everything down. All the hard work and everything. She just burns it down. She's like, hey, Nick, just went to Aunt Marie's trailer. Nick's like, what did you do? Oh, you know, I was just a little cold. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. Oh, it's so frustrating. She ripped up the books. Now they can't find out what, what Vesson is which. It's so frustrating. Oh. I mean, I remember the last time that we were, afterwards, we were talking about, um, um, hold on. Sorry, I'm on, I have a friend chatting on the other line. Don't want to keep her waiting. Anyway. <sighs> We were talking about it, yes, the last time for dinner, and, um, Ilse was saying, I don't, I actually want Adeline to live so she can kill Juliet. She is pissing me off. Honestly, I don't, I don't like Ilsa for saying that, but it is, I can't believe, it, it's frustrating. I mean, all that hard work, and then I burned down everything, the books, the med, the weird stuff, the weapons, it's just, Oh, I can't believe Juliet did that! I, I know, I'm one of those people who gets way over, over, overdone with the whole, the whole TV shows and stuff, but it's so frustrating! Why would she do that? <sighs> yeah, she kind of said, you know, not, oh, wrong way, no? I don't know. You know, not gonna let anything hold me down anymore, I'm just gonna burn your trailer and burn everything in with it. Sorry if it's, yep, news you lose, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs> can't believe this! Now I have to wait till next Friday to find out what happens. And it's so frustrating! Oh, I really hate Juliet right now. I really, I really hope that she gets back to normal and I don't want to say Nick kill her or anything. I don't actually want that, but it's, oh, it's so frustrating. Julia is just pissing me off. Need to calm down. Need to calm down. I'm fine. We're good. We're good. It's nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just angry. It's angering me. It's, I really hope they get Juliet back to normal. Because this is just frustrating. This is just angry. Yeah, I'm probably going a little overboard here, but whatever. So yeah, that was this grim episode.
But they did say they, there might be a way to reverse this. So maybe Juliet will turn back to normal. Maybe it'll all be good. I don't know. I'm just really curious about what they're going to do in the next episode. Just, uh, can't believe Juliet would do that. Okay. I'm going to end it here. What would you guys think of that episode? I'll try to keep my videos more, you know, it's frustrating. I may not even do anything today. It's crappy weather. Juliet burned down the freaking train. What? She, she burned it down! What I'm expecting in the next episode to happen is Juliet and Nick are going to confront each other. They're going to bring Adeline, and Adeline and Juliet are going to have it out with each other. They're going to go beat each other up. Then they're going to find a way to reverse this, and Juliet will go back to normal. What's really sad is that she's even becoming Adeline. She's acting like her. You know, I remember in the last episode, it's like, Juliet, you need to stop this. I can't. I like this power. And there's no going back. It's like, <sighs> whatever. 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 We're fine. We're cool. We're cool. Not going to get angry about this anymore. I shouldn't be angry about this for a while, but that's okay. It's cool. We're good. We're good. We're totally good. Yeah, we're just PG. We're just a hunky-dory. God!